Rear Admiral Dennis Kutluk, uh, good to have you with us. So first of all, what do you make of the behavior of these Greek jets uh, harassing the Turkish ship? Is this a deliberate provocation, do you think? That seems to be deliberate. And the, other than provocation, there is no room to, to embark this action into proper or, let's say, understandable uh, settings. Uh, what I understand is it's unnecessary provocation because there was no danger, no risk, no threat coming from an unarmed Navy research vessels to Greek interest, whereas Greeks reacted uh, in, in a maximum, let's say, uh, effort to harass and intimidate the Turkish ships uh, as if they were trying to let Turks abandon their high seas rights of exploration and exploitation of the uh, not mineral resources, but hydrographic resources uh, in, in the agency. It's a very unhelpful action for Greece to take, fact, given yes. that talks are just uh, about started on exploration rights. How do you think Turkey should respond here? I think uh, Turkey has already responded by using its inter interceptions, uh, intercepting uh, fighters against those harassing aircraft. But on the other hand, Turkey should also raise this issue in the NATO fora, where uh, NATO ongoing uh, mediation efforts uh, will be impacted and uh, to be uh, reactivated accordingly. Uh, other than this, uh, I think there is no other reason for further escalations of Turkish and uh, Turkish military capacity against Greece. Of, of, of course, one should also note that the, there are ongoing, ongoing, let's say, uh, talks in different fora. First of all, the, this uh, exploratory talks has just finished its first uh, round at the end of January. The next one is going to start in March. And then there's an ongoing talks in the NATO headquarters. And as well as uh, there are, as well as there are other uh, diplomatic Indeed. talks uh, between, between sides. All of them uh, will be, of course, not going to the right direction uh, as a result of this action. Good to get your thoughts there. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Rear Admiral Dennis Kutluk. Thank you.